As European nations ramp up their military drone capabilities, a Canadian defence firm is making a bold move into the market. Uvad Technologies, a company based in North America, has officially expressed its intent to offer its latest supersonic drone system, the Falcon, to Germany's armed forces, with sights set on broader deployment across Europe. This development comes through a public announcement from German engineering company Intech Industry Technik GmbH, headquartered in Munich, which stated its readiness to support UVAD in pushing the project forward. The Falcon is engineered as a high-performance, supersonic unmanned aerial system, tailored for a mix of training, testing, and frontline applications. Designed to reach Mach 1.6 and remain airborne for over half an hour, the aircraft can ascend to 10,000 meters while transporting up to 50 kilograms of onboard payload. Thanks to its sleek build and agility, the drone can perform intricate aerial maneuvers, serving effectively as a fast ISR platform, loyal wingman, or mock adversary in training environments. It incorporates a recovery system that includes a parachute and landing airbag, supporting multiple missions with minimal wear. Unlike traditional drones requiring runways, the Falcon is built for immediate deployment using a containerized launch system powered by a pneumatic catapult. This configuration allows for high mobility and rapid responsiveness in field conditions. Additionally, the drone can function autonomously, with swarm control capabilities that minimize human supervision. A key feature of the Falcon is its compatibility with the FlyLab system, which simplifies integration of various mission modules. The onboard system offers support for remote control, data transmission, telemetry, and payload power. However, at this stage, it appears the Falcon lacks integrated weapons or radar systems, pointing to its role as a support or simulation platform rather than a direct combat asset. This Canadian development arrives in a European theater already seeing strong competition from US aerospace firms. Airbus Defense and Space recently joined forces with American drone manufacturer Kratos to co-develop a European version of the XQ-58A Valkyrie, aiming to bolster NATO-aligned capabilities. Similarly, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems announced its YFQ-42A project, which intends to blend American drone architecture with European sensor and weapons expertise. UVAD Technologies, which began in the early 2000s with a focus on civilian UAV systems, pivoted to military applications in 2021 following increased governmental backing from Ottawa. The Falcon, slated for its first flight in 2026, represents the company's flagship entry into defense aviation. Featuring dual jet engines and reaching altitudes above 30,000 feet, the platform is explicitly designed for high-risk scenarios where loss of the airframe is an acceptable trade-off. The drone's design emphasizes modularity and logistical efficiency. It can support missions ranging from ISR and aerial combat support to early hypersonic missile defense experiments. Its ruggedized, modular packaging enables deployment in remote or rapidly changing operational zones without dependence on airfields. Still, the program faces challenges. The actual flight performance remains unverified, as real-world testing is yet to be conducted. Additionally, there's no official sign that Canada's own military plans to acquire the system. A July 12 report from Radio Canada mentioned that the Royal Canadian Air Force is evaluating drones to support its upcoming F-35A squadrons but stressed that no purchase decisions have been made. If UVAD's Falcon meets expectations during upcoming tests, it may emerge as a compelling asset for European defence planners, especially as NATO members look to expand their drone fleets for use in swarm tactics, simulation, and frontline augmentation. With the right combination of capability, cost efficiency, and integration potential, the Falcon could secure a place among the next generation of European aerial defense platforms.